getting paid, that's what spark girls do. do. You get money, you a spark girl too. Uh -huh. You getting paid, that's what spark girls do. do. You get money, you a spark girl too. Uh -huh. Get money, get money, get money, get money, uh -huh. get money, get money. Get money, that's the ball. Hey, hey, what's going on? You are watching Music Exclusives TV. I'm your host, Tabitha Williams, and tonight I am sitting with Asia Sparks. She just finished rocking the stage at SOBs for Hot 97. Yes, excited. You had tons of energy. Yes, I had tons of energy. I always have a lot of energy, though. I'm like a ball of energy. Like a okay. Ball of energy. Uh, I was always one of those kids that never sat still. My mom was like, sit down. Like, <laughs> no, just jumping off walls. But yeah, I, I, I definitely have like an energizer. So what's it like now being a grown woman yeah. with your energy in Philly? Well, being a grown woman is never really that fun because you got bills to pay. <laughs> but uh, it's actually it's, it's actually kind of cool. I have a lot of young girls, sparkle girls that look up to me. And that's my brand. And uh, it's really just a group of females that are just trying to like influence and, you know, uh, give some inspiration and hope and motivation to a lot of these younger kids in the city of Philadelphia or wherever. Uh, so that's what we do for our sparkle girls and sparkles. But it feels kind of good to be an OG general in a sparkle girl camp. So shout out to my sparkle girls. <laughs> shout out to them. Now speaking of OG, a lot of people compare your music and rap style to Foxy Brown. Yeah. Do you feel like she's influenced you or do you feel like you're in your own lane? I don't feel like she's influenced me um, only because I can't change the way my voice sounds. I think that a lot of people say because of how I'm like a pit bull in the skirt or like maybe our voice and the way we say stuff is like raw, you know, and I don't think that necessarily has to do with the influence because if I'm going to be a raw person, I'm going to be a legit, like, you know, authentic person, then that comes from nobody but me. Okay. You know, but what I say, uh, what's the other question? Do I, do I, do I, yeah. Do, do you feel that you're in, in your own lane? I do feel like I'm in my own lane, but I, I'm, I'm very humble that anybody will put me in the same category as uh, Foxy Brown because she's a legend, and I, if, if anybody put me in that category, Thanks, because it feels good. So, so what artists have influenced you? Oh uh, man, uh, to be honest, um, I'm a very, uh, I'm, I'm a be very big fan of Biggie. Uh, I love Lauryn Hill. She, she influences me a lot. Uh, not necessarily me, but just looking at them and their stories and their hustles is like cool. 50 Cent is like one of my favorite rappers though, and I, I really owe a lot to 50 Cent because he actually started my career. So 50 Cent, his hustle. Um, his brand. I just hope that I can learn everything from. He you started know. your career in what way? Uh, actually, the first day I actually started rapping, and I actually put a, a video out. This is the first day, mm -hmm. first 24 hours. I had tweeted it to 50 Cent, and 50 was like, "Yo, this is nice." And next thing you know, I had fans all over the world, 17,000 in a couple hours. And uh, you know, I owe that 50 Cent because he didn't have to be the guy to respond and make my career. After that, after that, it was 106 and Park and this and that, and this just, just the world knew. It, it felt good that somebody in the industry that was established, and this was the first day I'm in the game, it was like, dang, it's like the first day you walk into a job, and it's like, hey, you got the raise already. I'm like, that's kind of awesome, you know? So that's how he started. So shout out to 50 Cent. And actually, I just performed with 50 Cent at the Electric Factory. I was on stage with 50 Cent, so shout out to 50. Nice. What yes. was the energy like? It was amazing, and he knew who I was, and that was the first time I've ever met him. And he knew who I was, and he was so like, he was like, yeah, I know who you are. And I was like, yeah, you know who I am. <laughs> okay, cool, 50. When you gonna sign me, stop playing. But it's my guy. So what is the goal for 2015 for you? The goal for 2015 is what the goal was when I first started, which would be making music always. That's the first goal, is to keep making music, keep making beautiful music. Uh, I've been in the studio a lot. Um, I've, I've had a lot of uh, television show uh, watch outs and lookouts. I can't really speak on them just yet. Okay. But um, also, um, I shot my first movie, and it'll be out in Thanksgiving, so you guys will see it. And i just been trying a little bit of everything, acting, singing. I, got, I go to Atlanta, and I'm shooting a short film uh, at the end of May. Um, so, yeah. Asia Sparks here with Music Exclusives TV. I'm your host, Tabitha Williams. Be sure to keep up with what she's doing, acting, singing, taking over the world. Go to www.musicexclusives.com for more info.